And well, I said it before, and I'm going to keep saying it. Women don't want reparations. Don't want. They want revenge, and they want imperialism towards men. And when. Uh, this just speaks for itself. From Elizabeth Pinock Freak. Text not equality for today. Just seen Senate panel votes to make women register for drop hill. <laughs> of course. My place is in the kitchen, not the middle east. Only when there is co it's only convenient, right? Right? You know what? The even if I really rip on Western, in Western woman, actually there is someone far worse than them, and they are Westerner to a surprise. It's South Korea. In South Korea, because of the conflict in between of course, the North Korea, the other Korea one, they do forced drafts. Always. Military service is always present for young ones. They do it, they do it for at least three years. But still, even if they do it, they still need to study. The men actually need to study. Because the only ones being drafted are men. And considering what I already said before, they need to choose a career. But at least... They had a privilege, they used to have a privilege, actually I wouldn't even call it a privilege, it was a right, or even a consideration, where they get preferential choosement or election when it comes to jobs, because they say, hey, I, I, I lost my time, I will I not lost my time, I was forced to lose, to lose my time, uh, in in this draft, and I I studied already. I need a job because I I don't wanna starve to death. And while well, what happens when the fe female liberation and feminism hit in South Korea, these fucking hoes took away the only. Thing that actually granted these guys that they were forced to do this shit they took it away they got now the preferential hiring and now these guys they can they can work because I a woman first you last a country that hates them but of course the draft is not abolished it's still present so imagine with these entitled Americans, at least Westerner Americans, female Americans, sorry. Look at, they want only privilege when it suits them, um, without the consequence or responsibility where it comes from it. Then you have this one. Females should be drafted for administration. There is even for con there used to be consideration for men when it comes to administration jobs in the military. As far as I know, if someone's was not fit for to be in the front line they just put in an administration work just because it's difficult for a a guy from the army or every military organization in between the government to integrate in civil society why because they got a lot of prejudges at least for what i know in the u.s they get tons of shit on 
just like with the fucking hippies. And then, well, that's they took out that away because even female are taking the jobs and pay extra money for screwing up for cooks. Okay, for medical, I agree. Do not belong to the front lines. Well, the thing is, these females military personnel, the female military personnel, they are they, they getting paid for being a front line, but with actually being in that one. And then as then you have the the who in in, in the barracks when they are the barracks of the of the squad where they just act, they end up being pregnant. Terence Pop covered this. <sighs> just so you know, the actual hypocrisy.